welcome back to the channel. My name is Brad. I'm with the RC Supremacy, and we back at it, boys. I, I really, I really would love to believe, man, that we are starting to become the micro RC drift headquarters, man, on YouTube. Who's going harder than us? Who's going harder? I said it eight months ago when we started the drift track build. Who is going harder? There's nobody right now, man. There's nobody, and I do appreciate you guys' support. You guys are solely the reason why I stay so motivated and bringing it to you because you guys are feeding me that. You guys want that more. So um, Drift Track, five episodes deep. If you guys haven't had an opportunity, go check that out real quick. But today, topic of conversation is we're introducing another micro drift chassis to the channel and the website, boys. Hello to the little bastard, man. She's an absolute beauty. Drift Art Summer Edition 2.5. Fellas, this thing is going super hard right now. Extremely sought after. I'm ecstatic to introduce it to the website and bring it to you guys on uh, on film. So uh, today, we're gonna put this on the bench. I'm gonna go over it, highlight some of the characteristics that makes this uniquely different than a lot of the chassis on the market. Uh, of course, there's pros and cons to them all and the reasoning behind those. Technology, where it is in the micro scene, has developed so quickly and and it's brought these things to beyond hobby grade level. I'm just trying to showcase that. I'm trying to bring great products to you guys. What I feel I can invest in is what I want to bring to the channel. That's what we're out here doing. That's how we're moving. That's how we're conducting. It's all for you guys at the end of the day. But the micro drift track, that's for, that's for me too. Like that, that's my baby right there. Without further ado guys, let's get right into this. This is the Drift Art 2.5 Summer Edition and um, a relatively new company to the scene. They have had a couple renditions of this chassis. The less is more LMI version of this is basically just a bunch more composite and plastic, uh, composite plastic as well as lower end uh, components. But this is the top of the line kit right now. This is what's offered currently on the market uh, in addition to those other uh, versions. But this is going to become with your alloy. This is coming with the DVF steering system up front, which we'll touch on in this video. But it's a phenomenal chassis. I've been having a great time with it, and I am sure that if you can surpass the build and the headache of the 76 page manual, you too will enjoy the chassis just as much. So uh, yeah, check them out if you are interested. They are up on the website, uh, www.rcsupremacy.com is where you can find that. And all of that fire micro goodness, boys. Telling you, we're literally by the day introducing new products and uh, follow us on the, on the social medias, man. I do, before getting right into this video, I have to give a shout out to RC Drift FL. My man had the notifications on, he put it in the comments and he got the shout out, man. I appreciate you for your shout out. Why don't you guys go ahead and leave some comments below for a future one as well. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get right into this. House of Real World Drive, the track name, House of Real World Drive, the newsletter, you should be a part of it because we just gave away our first giveaway yesterday on live Facebook. Appreciate all you guys, but <laughs> enough spewing shit out my mouth, boys. Let's get right into it. Let's go. Perfect. the chassis. Before getting into my setup and what we have currently on screen, let's talk about the base kit. The Drift Art 2.5 Summer Edition is relatively new to the scene. Drift Art has been producing uh, chassis now for about a year and some change. Started off with the Less Is More, which is a variation of the Summer Edition with just a lot more basic uh, components, no alloy, and a little bit more uh, friendly on the, the, the wallet and finance. Here, their latest edition, the 2.5 Summer, comes with the DVF steering system, which we'll touch on very shortly. It's got a ton of aluminum, the pulley, and the whole gearing uh, assembly in the rear bulk is all aluminum. Just touching on that steering system before you see illustration, it's very uniquely designed. Hats off to them, guys. This is one of a kind. I haven't seen this in the seven years I've been in the drift scene, and uh, it's very, very user-friendly. You're going to see some mounts here very shortly that allow you to throw the pitch of the servo from a 10, 15 to 
20 degree angle. That helps tremendously with obviously taking stress off the servo, but also with what they have designed up front with the rack, the steering rack itself, being able to move it forward, backwards, adjusting Ackerman on the fly, as well as shimming it up and down to give you different rolls as well as a uh, different geometry on the front of the steering. You're gonna see, man, a bunch of unique characteristics on this chassis. Touching on the suspension, the damper setup, it's basically like an inner shaft that is screwed in and uh, capped off with that cap head on top. The more you unscrew or tighten that cap head allows you to adjust the spring tension and your ride height simultaneously. So it's very clever. Have more of a uh, of a unique setup here with the pulleys as well as the pulley directly to that gear pinion. And uh, you're gonna see right here, I'm pointing at that. There's two levels of, uh, of circumference there. There's two radiuses there that you're gonna be able to mess with your final drive ratio as well as gearing. Um, I have messed around with them and they are definitely noticeable. The motor mount as well, very, very, very versatile with what you can do and where it is able to rotate. You're able to run a high center of gravity forward, which is what I'm running here. You're able to set it backwards. You're able to set it under the top deck, which is where that, that uh, electronic setup I have there currently. From factory, uh, capable of your 90 to 120 millimeter adjustability from wheelbase. Currently 115 millimeter chassis which is uh, set for a specific body that I am running. Showing you an example of how reactive the, the suspension is from the rear to the uh, front. I am running a little bit more of a droop setup for the surface. Uh, ideally, ideally, the tires in the uh, compound I'm running right now isn't what is going to be spec to my track. So uh, I'm just waiting for my order of DS racing to show up and arrive here any day, which will uh, give me them uh, LF5S uh, compounds, which will be spec to the track and available to you guys on the website once they do hit, uh, hit town. So perfect, 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 perfect.